Hello everyone and guess what day it is? That's right, it is Wreck This Journal time. It has been a hot minute since I've done one of these, but don't think I have forgotten for a second. I've actually gone through and kind of written some ideas in the top corners of what I want to do for some of these things. Um, and I know a lot of people don't normally go like page by page. Uh, I guess maybe for the sake of a more interesting video or whatever, but I don't know. I kind of like the going page by page thing. Um, I obviously came up with these ideas a hot minute ago, so that's why I wrote them down because I wasn't planning on doing them the day that I thought them up, which means I'm as surprised as you are on some of these ideas, and maybe I'll change them, maybe I won't, but I'm going to do three more pages today, and we're just going to keep slowly but surely making our way through this book. So my idea for this first page, this is chew on this, warning, do not swallow, preach. Um, I wrote up here, chew and spit, make art from the shapes. Um, I've already done that kind of in this book, I'm pretty sure, way back where, somewhere, this one. Um, and I actually am drinking coffee this time, which is incidental, and also I really want to use that. Um, I Like the coffee, I would like to drink it instead of uh, spitting it here. So I kind of got this new idea, and I want to chew a hole through this and make a flower out of it. Does that make sense? Of course not. Actually, I don't want to chew in this. I want to glue whatever chewing I do there. So I'm going to go get a sheet of paper and I'm going to chew it and we're going to make this happen. Okay, this is quite the concept. I need a thin piece of paper, of course. Um, otherwise, I'd normally use like cardstock if I wanted something to last, but I'm going to need it to fold down and I'm also going to need to be able to kind of actually chew it. So, I guess, I think my idea is that I kind of want to rip, like, some concentric circle shapes. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, this might be the worst thing I've ever done. I don't know. Bon appetit, I guess. That was probably the worst thing I've ever done on camera. Um, I hate chewing so much. And now it's wet, love this. Okay, so now we kind of got this situation here, the shape covered in spit, so cute, yes. Um, and then that, and then that. So somehow I just explained everything that I was doing in a hyperlapse video so it didn't actually record. Love that for me. Um, I'm doing a pink gradient is the vibe, um, and I'm gonna wait on this guy, yeah, um, pink gradient, that's what I'm gonna do. It is not exactly what I was picturing in my head, but I kind of like it more than I think I was picturing it in my head. Um, I like the texture. I like the kind of ripped edges of it. I like the way that they kind of bend up um, it in on each other. It looks maybe like a crushed flower, which I guess is maybe the point. Our next page is make a funnel and drink some water. So I wrote color the cone. Yeah, I guess I can do that. So here's the deal. I do want to color the cone, but I also want to follow the directions. So I think I'm going to roll this, try to drink out of it first, and then, then I will color it with watercolor pencils because I don't think I want to ingest that. A lot of stuff with my mouth today and I'm not appreciating it. Okay, just a little bit. Ah. Proof. It's wet, I promise. Ah, yeah, that's the drip. That did honestly go even better than I was expecting, but alas, I am ready to move on. So, I don't know. I'm feeling blue. I like that color right now. This kind of deeper yellow, maybe. What else is calling to me right now? Not really anything. It can't just be those two. I gotta have a third one at least. Pink? I don't know why. It feels very cotton candy-esque, but I'm gonna roll with it. Ah, 
All right, I actually filled this plate with like some very lightly warmed water. Um, and I'm just gonna place this in there and see what happens. Ready? Boo. Bring me color. Ah! <laughs> yeah, that's the drippiness I want, I guess. Spread that color, baby. I don't really know if this series has really pushed me to like go so far outside of my creative bubble, but I will say it does kind of take a lot of the pressure off of, um, I don't know, I guess just trying to create something beautiful and really just creating something to create. And that feels really good. So I know maybe this isn't like, I don't, I don't, I hate to compare myself to other people who do this series because I really am doing this for fun. I'm doing my entire channel for fun. It's not really designed to do anything, but maybe inspire someone else to create something or maybe a little bit of entertainment. But I find that the more I do these, the less I kind of care about making everything perfect and the more I care about doing something different <laughs> and um, kind of just letting art be what it is, even if it's not good. Um, and I felt the same way when I made my little prompt book, my little sketchbook prompt book that I made um, from, I don't know, again, probably months ago at this point. But the whole point of it is to be okay with the imperfect. And I think that's the beauty of looking at this, wreck this journal creatively. So for this tear out and crumple page, um, I wrote origami. And I don't know why I would do that when this is the kind of garbage that I pumped out of this origami kit that I found at Five Below not too long ago. Um, I am not good at origami. What, what am I thinking, like realistically? I don't even know what this was supposed to be. Oh, it's a butterfly. Oh, that one's kind of cute. Yeah, I like the butterfly. That one doesn't look too bad. Um, and then I had this really awkwardly tiny rose, I remember. And the leaves that were entirely too big for it. Oh, that's too funny. Look, this is what this dinosaur is supposed to look like. Ha! That's embarrassing. Like, what is this even? It looks like a really sad alien. I don't even know how to describe it. Maybe I'm supposed to kind of pinch it up more like that. It looks better, but it's not great. And the googly eyes are a wreck. So, um, what I'm thinking is I'm going to follow these directions. And you know what? I'm going to grab some of these different colors in here. And I think I'm going to make a couple of these butterflies. Um, because then I can kind of paste them down like this. And then again, they can kind of do that pop-up thing that they've got going on. <laughs> They're a little big, but I like them. And I think that this is definitely something fun that pushed me out of my comfort zone. I still don't know if 100% I think they look like butterflies, um, especially since I didn't totally get it when it first came out the last time. Um, but I'm trying to like kind of come in here and add their little antenna underneath. That way, if I ever get confused again, I can just kind of be like, oh yeah, there's their little antenna. They must be butterflies. That makes sense. I'm gonna tuck her wing in the whole thing there so she doesn't get folded up. Um, and now I guess all that's left is to put my beautiful, um, I guess splattered, still slightly damp cone back into the book for proof, you know, for, for posterity, if you will, um, that it was done. <laughs> this is a lot. Um, I did actually have fun with these today. I don't know if, uh, again, maybe these are the most creative pages you've ever seen, but I do kind of like adding in these like three-dimensional elements and using things that I don't usually use uh, to kind of create art. I think it's fun. Um, so yeah, I like my little flower. I, you know, my chewed up flower, um, <laughs> my watercolor drip, and of course my origami. These are definitely some non-traditional art mediums that I would go for, I think. Uh, maybe except for the watercolor paint, but I definitely wouldn't have used the, or the watercolor pencils, but I definitely wouldn't have used this technique. So I'm going to still call this a win in terms of kind of getting out of the box. 
With all that said, I wanted to say thank you so, so much for watching. If you like what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe. I do put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time, and I would love for you to be here for the next one. Thanks again so, so much, and don't forget to subscribe for the next bit of fun, which is going to be paper airplane making, um, wrap something with this page. I have no idea how I'm going to make that happen, and a tongue painting, which I can only imagine is going to be super fun since you know how comfortable I am putting my mouth on the internet. <laughs> so definitely hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you again next week. Bye.